Hey folks, Ken here. Hope everybody is well. Um, I think just a, a quick video update. Not a lot has happened, although I've been off um, for the last week. The weather in Dublin has been fairly poor. Yesterday and today, not too bad today, especially as you can see, I'm sitting out here watching the fish. So it's um, it's a lot warmer. It's um, 18 degrees and sunny. So uh, definite pond weather. Um, just a couple of quick updates. I did add a couple of new fish. I added a Yama or a, uh, uh, the name will come to me now in a second, a Chag, Chagoy, and there's another Scalus, one of the two, I think it's down there somewhere, I can't see it. Um, but I was up in Clearly Aquatics in Bangor, just north of Belfast there on uh, Thursday and picked a couple up. There's a really good selection up there. Um, I mentioned in previous videos that I was testing the water and even after adding fish I was still getting um, zero ammonia and zero nitrite which kind of made me a little bit suspicious. Now the test kit I was using is a freshwater aquarium one although the tests for ammonia and nitrite are the same as the ones you get in the, in the pond version they're just different tests in the um, different selection of tests this one i have about 18 months maybe two years and it has an expiry date of it of 2024 so i would have thought it was okay but given the fact that i was a bit suspicious when i was up in clearly aquatics i picked up the api specific pond version which has expiry dates of 23 um, but obviously hadn't been opened the other one was opened as I say about 18 months or two years anyway I tested the water when I got home there's that scaleless one answers on a postcard if you know it's a nice little fish um, really like a scale pattern on that uh, chag it's really nice um, anyway back to my test kit um, so I tested the water when I got home and lo and behold, I had 0 0.25 ammonia and 0 0.25 nitrite. Not a biggie, but just shows I have to be a little bit easier on the feeding and also shows that these test kits do have expiry dates. And I've heard it said before, particularly if you test nitrates and we generally don't bother, particularly on ponds where you have a trickle in or a trickle out. Um, but I know people have said on the aquarium side that over time the nitrate tests in these tends to go. But I think the lesson for me is that if a test kit is open for a year, it's time to buy a new one. So I'd certainly do that. So just checking the water every day. Actually, this morning it improved a bit. The ammonia went to zero. The nitrate is still up. But um, it seems more realistic to me. I wouldn't expect my filter, which has been running from the end of February and I'm really only feeding from end of March, early April. I wouldn't have expected to have a huge amount of maturity there. Um, other thing is one of my kahakus is flashing a bit. It looks, if I can find it, it's the larger one. It's not that one there. Um, I just found it melting a lot and the fins are going and I did notice that flash a few times. All the other fish look fine. I just need to keep an eye on it. Um, that's it there. You can see to me now, and more from my aquarium experience, it looks a bit like a fish that's under stress. I just need to keep an eye on it. You know, I've no, I don't have a microscope at the moment. I bought buying one from somebody and uh, I'm waiting to meet them and get it but um it's unlikely for the next few days but certainly if i have one i don't know if you saw at the bottom there it flashed again i certainly did off the um the bottom drain so there's definitely something going on there you can see the constant melting as well if you have any suggestions let me know i know the fish did have a couple of ulcers that a mate of mine treated before he gave it to me only fairly minor stuff but um you know just gills are constantly going mouth is constantly going eating a little but not as voracious as the other fish definitely so 
one to watch. Um, other than that, it's been quiet. I did add a new camera. I was talking about my Blink cameras. I'll add a bit of video from this one onto the end. Um, I have it overlooking the ponds. I do have one up on the house here. Um, and I mentioned in a previous video that I can wasn't getting any alerts for herons and I know there's definitely herons around. So um, I was able to set it up to take a still photograph every hour and lo and behold, as I think I put on a previous video, there was the heron sitting on the wall watching the fish. So I think this one being a much closer proximity to the pond should pick up any activity. Not that it's going to do anything and, and there is a net there, it's just to know um, what is around and what it's doing. Um, so it is good as well because if I'm away and I want to just check on the fish, I can actually see from above what they're doing. Um, whereas the other one, as I say, is a bit, a bit further away and gives us a much smaller picture. But other than that, um, that's the lot. Um, did a bit of a clean up yesterday. I cleaned it last. Steve Wainwright will be proud of me. I had the Dublin duster out earlier and got, I hope, most of the algae off it. Um, not a good time of year for algae on glass. Anybody who has a window will know there's still a few bits there. Look, let the side down. Um, and I gave the outside a clean. The fish are still throwing water over the top when I'm feeding them, which again is highly consistent. Inconsiderate. I might, if they keep dirty in my glass, I might just get rid of the fish altogether and just have the pond with nice clean glass. Maybe I don't know. I'll give that one some thought. There's that fish again. Um, so, if you have any suggestions on my slightly sick haku, let me know. Um, I'd love to be able to do a scrape. Um, as I say, the other fish at the moment, anyway, all look fine. It's the only fish that's doing that. Um, and if you want to hit the subscribe button, do that um, and you'll see any future videos. And if you um, have any suggestions for what you want to see around the pond or how I built the pond or had the pond built in a lot of cases or the filtration, let me know in the comments. Okay, all the best. Cheers.